What's going on my peoples? This is David the Wiz. So today I'm just going to show you guys how I got my desktop set up the way it is. Uh, I know I haven't actually showed it in any videos before and I just actually got it like this a week ago. So the only reason I'm asked this because I showed a couple of my friends to it on Discord and one of them just asked how I set it up. So I'm just going to show my setup real quick and then I'll be good. Ow, phone. <laughs> no. Okay, leave it down there. Uh, okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is download a program called Rain Meter. Like if you just search in the search bar, rainmeter.net, and then you can just download the beta release or the final release. I don't know if all this stuff works in the final release, but I know it works in the beta release, so I just got the beta release anyway because it's stable. I've not had any problems with it at all. So just get that. And then after that, you have the program on your computer. So what you just need to do is get the skins for it. So you can either get them at this place, rainmeterhub.com, which is just a bunch of random layouts and stuff. There's pre-made layouts and all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to use my exact setup. If you find something else you like, you can pick that. And then there's also like DeviantArt, where you just go in DeviantArt, just search Rain Meter. And then they have a bunch of stuff on here too. As you can see, there's a lot of layouts and stuff. And you can pick through a bunch of those. And so I'm just going to show you the exact ones I have. The Cantus Acra that I have right here is a equalizer. So I, if I can show you right now, if I go over here and then I'll talk with my audition, then now you can see the equalizer in the bottom corner. It basically plays any music sounds, media sounds that you have. It doesn't play your microphone unless you have it coming back to you like I am right now, but it's just an equalizer. So if you're playing music or something, you play do that. Uh, the next thing I have is this ultralight, which is the clock and also the icons down here. I don't actually use the icons. I just like the aesthetic of it, but I mean, it's easy to use icons. That goes Chrome, folder, iTunes. Don't know what that's for and that's Steam. And the next thing I have is the clock, which is also included on there. Like you can just grab these and freely move them around at any time. I think there's a way you can lock it in, but I don't really see a need to because I don't accidentally click on them really. Then there's the icons. So I have the hexacons, which is this normal and this is the extension pack, which I use just to get like a couple of these in the discord, like the Photoshop after Effects kind of stuff. And I just got those. All you have to do is when you go in these, you put what icons you want then edit. And right here, where it says to execute, you just find wherever the file is, put it in there, and then every time you click on it, it'll open that program. So if I click on this, it's going to open iTunes. Which actually leads me to my next thing, which is this iTunes player down here. So the iTunes player is just called iTunes player. You just go to the Rain Meter Hub, go to the volume of music, and it's right here called iTunes player. And then every time you play music in iTunes, it'll just pop up right here. There's the equalizer going in there. That's just the thing I have just because. So the next thing I have is this volume control hub down here, which you can just like scroll and it just changes your system volume, which I just have it there just because sometimes it's easier just to change the volume through that. Just do that. I also have a button on my keyboard that just goes up and down, but sometimes it's easier to just do this. And that's, all right, that changes the volume of the system. Uh, next thing, the weather thing. I don't need this, but I like it. It also has the date, and I forget the date a lot. Don't don't judge me. Don't but a lot of times, I just don't like looking at my phone. It's like, hey, weather. Okay, that's the weather. I don't want to do that. I can just look at my computer from already there, and I don't have to look it up online. And then probably the most important thing on here is the steam launcher it's called mini steam launcher it's also on rain meter hub it's under the launchers and it's just right here and all it does is you like type in the url to your recent steam things like you go in here edit skin and then you don't have to worry about anything else just look at right here the url and then put in your profile and it'll link to all your recent games and then if you click a game it'll launch the game. So like if I click Warframe, it's gonna load up Warframe. So I like 
And there it is. I don't, I'm not playing Warframe right now. And that's just how it is. That's how you do it. Okay, so I forgot to do the basic thing and actually tell you how to put the icons on. Okay, so when you have Rain Meter, you go to your Rain Meter. After you have your skins downloaded, you go for the most of them, you just go in here, you click that and it'll load it. And then after that, you can just drag it wherever you want. And then for the icons, that's the only thing you'll have to do slightly differently. With the icons, you'll have to actually go into it and find which icon you want. And then let's say like I want Dota, I'll click at that and I'll drag it and put it right there. Don't know how I forgot to say that, but that's the easy part. All the rest, you just you can move all this stuff around anywhere. All right, back to the outro. That's simple as that. That guy that just texted me on Steam is actually the person who I'm making this video for. All right, that's a good ending to this. Ooh, voice, voice crack all the way up to the heavens. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have anything else you want to know about the program or anything else that I have on here and what games, I don't know. You can have me on Steam, David the Wiz. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.